Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and today we're gonna to do a bag comparison between the brand new Langley Alpha Globetrotter and the older Langley Alpha Pro. Let's take a closer look. So, old versus the new. I honestly love the look of the Langley bags just because it just screams adventure, it's simple. Um, it's just a really, really good looking bag. Is it the most comfortable? The answer is no. Being completely honest, I think a low pro bag or a think tank bag or even the uh, Wandered Provoke bag is actually more comfortable than these bags, but not by a huge margin or anything like that. Um, but I got this one just because it just looks amazing. And for me, I use my laptop every day and so it's really, really simple for you to access your laptop and your everyday materials. The camera compartment though sucked because if you had your laptop in there and when you want to access your gear, <laughs> It's, you kind of have to open it up, but you have like your laptop down the back, so you can't really open it up all the way, so you kind of have to fish for things. And the way they have this laid out, you can't really cram too, too much. Um, if, so if you're using a full frame camera system like a 5D or D810 or something like that, and you had three full frame lenses, you could really only have three lenses with the body attached, but if it, there were some smaller lenses, you could stack them up on top of each other, but then you'd be fishing for them um, because it'd be stacked on top of the other. So that was one of the biggest complaints about this bag, even though it looked so amazing. <laughs> So then they have the Langley Alpha Globetrotter. So I'll kind of go through all of the differences. So the biggest difference is that small compartment, or not small, but that compartment where this one is more like a, a clamshell mouth, whereas this one opens, it's a front-loading area. So boom, right here, so whereas there I only had one body and three, three full-frame lenses, here I have a body and I have one, two, three, four, five full frame lenses, and there's actually another slot at the bottom here, which I've crammed in some small accessories. So if you had a small like 50 mil 1.4 or something like that, you could still fit that in there. So maybe even six lenses. Um, yeah, so that is the biggest difference between the two of them. What are some of the other differences? Uh, well, let's go through the entire bag. So number one, material. This is kind of like more of like a rubberized material, whereas this one's a little bit more of a, a textured material. Um, but this textured material does exist on the green version of the Globetrotter, just not the black version. I kind of wish it had the black version was like this, but it is what it is. Uh, the other thing is also the front pocket right here. Um, it is actually a little bit larger on here, and I know that for sure because I had this crammed and I moved everything from this pocket into this pocket and there's a little bit more space in there, it was, it was roomier. So that was one great thing I liked about that as an upgrade. The other difference is with the zipper, it is lockable, so if you had a small little lock, you can put it through there. This one does not have a lockable zipper. I mean, you could lock it if you just kind of loop the lock through the, the, the ends of it, but you know, it wouldn't really secure it nice and tight. Uh, the other differences of it are mainly towards the back. So, as you can tell, huge difference in the back. This one, it really wasn't padded at all. It just had uh, some soft cloth fabric padding, uh, not great for ventilation, and as you can tell, it kind of loses its structure over time. Um, I kind of liked it, it was just a simple bag, but this one, they've beefed it up. They have uh, this nice padded material for your back, and it's nicely ventilated. They've added this luggage pass th pass through slot or strap. It is removable on this bag. If you get the green version, it is not removable. They have also added a security zipper at the very back here. So if you can put your passport or wallet or thin wallet or money or anything like that, that will go in there. The straps have also been beefed up. Um, they're a lot more comfortable, a lot more comfortable than these ones, but they're still not the most comfortable ones. Um, here. Uh, the other thing that they have added is a waist belt. That is, again, it's not the most comfortable waist belt, but it works and it is what it is, and it's removable. For me, I honestly don't use a waist belt at all, so I'm probably gonna remove this. Um, I'd only use it if, I'm, again, I'm, I'm trekking through a long period of time, but I'm just doing day-to-day -day stuff, you know, going from place to place in my car. Um, what else can I tell you about? Oh yeah, so we're gonna put it back to back right now. And as you can tell, it's just a smidge taller. 
just a smidge, like maybe an inch. So that kind of added some things. Oh, oh, there's also some extra adjustable straps at the very top, but these honestly do almost nothing for you. Um, they should have made it better, but they just didn't. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, other than that, the laptop compartment and everything in the top side is the same. The biggest difference is that camera compartment right there. And the final thing that they have upgraded is the bottom part right here. Uh, they've added this, um, not, it's not even rubberized, it's just a, a really durable material. So if you're setting it down, um, this is great. This one is the same material all the way through and it's not as padded on the bottom. So just a small little upgrade. So anyways, that's essentially it. Those are the differences between the Langley Alpha Pro and the brand new Langley Alpha Globetrotter. Uh, is it worth an upgrade? I, originally, I didn't think so. But my friend, he got one and I took a look at the bag and I was like, this is definitely worth an upgrade. So yes, I do think it's an upgrade. I also just realized there's one other thing that is different. On the old one, it does not have waterproof zippers. On the new one, they are all waterproof zippers. Uh, sorry, that was another thing that I just noticed right now. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video and you want to see me do more of these comparisons, then like and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.